Okay. Let's head down there. Pitch up here. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. Oh. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some. There's a body of food in the wagon. I hear you just. Gentlemen. Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. Go now, buddy. Search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh. Uh, looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down.
Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Meet me out here when you're done. Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. yet. Find out what they're doing here, and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm, O'Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? We're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Get the hell out of here. Go!
doesn't do yeah. nothing. She's one of them O'Driscolls. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Yeah. Are you... Oh, you fool! Michael! Miss, now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... <laughs> okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Of course. Miss, it's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. <laughs> <laughs> 